criminal possession, DUI charges, and unhealthy obsessions with tragic outcomes. For these American Idol alums, successful performances are the least of their concerns. Frenchie Davis arrived to the season two American Idol audition with bright yellow hair and a powerful voice. She eventually made her way to the semifinals only to discover that producers were kicking her off after it was revealed that she'd taken nude photographs prior to her appearance on the show. According to Davis, she'd taken those photos to help pay for college and she was upfront about her past to producers. As she explained to Rona Bennett on an episode of Revealed with Rona, it was during that process of background checking and all of that that I had a conversation with producers of the show, and I said, hey, you know, I just want to be upfront and honest about this. You know, five years ago, I took topless pictures. As far as I know, they are not even on the internet anymore. Davis was ultimately replaced with another contestant. There was renewed uproar over her removal after season six contestant Antonella Barba wasn't removed from the show after her own explicit photos were found on the internet. Rosie O'Donnell accused American Idol of racism during an episode of The View, while Davis told the Associated Press, I don't necessarily think that it's racism, but I can certainly look at this and understand why people would draw that conclusion. New Jersey native Antonella Barba made it all the way to the top 16 until she was eliminated in season six of American Idol. She could have remained just a footnote in the show's history, but then in October 2018, she popped up again in the news due to an arrest for drug possession. Barba was reportedly arrested in Norfolk, Virginia, after police found that she had nearly two pounds of fentanyl and determined that she intended to distribute it. She was then given a 45-month prison sentence. Several months afterward, a man named Justin Isaac, who had given Barba the drugs to distribute in Norfolk, was arrested and sentenced to 14 years in prison as well. Barba has since been released from prison, and in April 2022, she took to social media to share that she would be continuing with her music and publishing a book. As she wrote on Instagram, Real talk. I've been scared to put myself out there. To be honest, approaching social media again after not having access to it for three years brings up a lot of anxiety. A few years ago, I made some really bad choices, choices that I regret. But I've learned that the only thing I can control is the choices that I make moving forward. Lane Hardy became quite the success story when he was crowned the winner of American Idol season 17. This was after he'd tried out the previous season but failed to crack the top 50. During a season 20 reunion special in 2022, he was welcomed back to perform again, but that aired after news broke that he'd been arrested for spying on an ex-girlfriend. Although Hardy was taken into custody just days before appearing on the Idol reunion, the special was taped a month before his arrest. He was reportedly arrested by Louisiana State University police after he was accused of planting a recording device in the dorm room of an ex-girlfriend who reported him. He was booked into prison on a charge of interception and disclosure of wire, electronic, or oral communication. Hardy eventually addressed his arrest on Instagram. As he explained, earlier today, I received a warrant due to allegations made against me and have been fully cooperative with the Louisiana State University Police Department. I understand that my career has thrust me into the public spotlight and I embrace that wholeheartedly as my entire world belongs to music and my fans. If found guilty, Hardy could face a $10,000 fine or time in prison. He could be facing uh, anywhere from two to 10 years behind bars. Season 19 of American Idol saw country singer Caleb Kennedy make it into the top five. But the South Carolina native ultimately had to withdraw from the competition when a video surfaced of him sitting next to someone who appeared to be wearing a Ku Klux Klan outfit. Kennedy's mother, Anita Guy, defended her son as she insisted to the Spartanburg Herald Journal that the video was not what it seemed. She explained that her son and the other person were dressed as characters from the horror film The Strangers Pray at Night, a movie in which killers wear white masks. Kennedy took to Instagram to address his removal from Idol himself, as he explained, Hey y'all, this is gonna be a bit of a surprise, but I am no longer gonna be on American Idol. There was a video that surfaced on the internet and it displayed actions that were not meant to be taken in that way. I was younger and did not think about the actions, but that's not an excuse. I wanna say sorry to all my fans and everyone who I have let down. Kennedy faced even more serious trouble in February 2022 when he was involved in a fatal car crash. As reported by E! News, he was charged with a felony DUI after he drove into a building that resulted in the death of a man inside. He was then being held at the Spartanburg County Detention Center in South Carolina after he was denied bond. If convicted, he could face up to 25 years in prison. 
Season 4 Idol contestant Scott Sable impressed the judges at his audition with his soulful rendition of The Carpenters' Superstar. He ultimately made it to the top five before Carrie Underwood emerged victorious for the season. During his time on the show, The Smoking Gun unearthed a disturbing chapter of Sable's past during which he was arrested for domestic violence after getting physical with the mother of his son in February 2001. He allegedly pushed her and threw a phone at her before making various threats. The domestic violence charge was ultimately lowered to a misdemeanor and a protective order was placed for both the mother and son. This could have been cause for concern for American Idol producers, but Sable had told them about the domestic violence case, so they allowed him to compete. In a statement, they explained, After reviewing the facts, we felt that considering Scott's honesty and his remorse, the situation did not warrant his disqualification. During season four, contestant Mario Vasquez quietly left the competition. As American Idol producer Nigel Lithgow noted at the time, we've made him a promise not to reveal what the reasons are. Eventually, though, disturbing allegations emerged about Vasquez. As reported by MTV News, an assistant production accountant for Idol named Magdaleno Olmos alleged that he was sexually harassed by Vasquez while he was on the show. Olmos filed a lawsuit against Idol and Fox for wrongful termination after he was fired for telling a superior about the incident. In his suit, Olmos claimed that Vasquez followed him into a bathroom, and when he came out of his stall, Vasquez asked him if he wanted to have sex. Olmos claimed that he went to a supervisor but was allegedly told that he shouldn't have shared what happened. He was ultimately let go from his position and the suit was eventually sent to arbitration. Vasquez was reportedly upset over the allegations and stated that he did not even know Olmos. He also claimed in an interview that he wasn't gay and added that he left Idol for, quote, artistic reasons. Personally, it just, it, I felt like the competition wasn't right for me. American Idol's audition rounds are often some of the most entertaining parts of the show. But in season five, it got a little uncomfortably strange. That was when contestant Paula Goodspeed revealed her odd obsession with Judge Paula Abdul. Before she got the chance to meet her idol face to face, she told host Ryan Seacrest, I really like Paula Abdul a lot. She's very cool. I'm a really big fan. I make life-size drawings of Paula. I've been drawing ever since I was a little kid, and my first drawing was of Paula Abdul. What's your name? Paula. Paula. And my name. You had it for us, so, okay. <laughs> Goodspeed's audition wasn't her proudest moment. In 2008, she made headlines again. It was revealed that she'd committed suicide outside of Abdul's home. ABC News reported that she was found dead in her car from an overdose after police found prescription pills. There were also photos of Abdul in her vehicle, including one hanging on her rearview mirror. People magazine reported that days before Goodspeed's suicide, Abdul was sent flowers that she believed were from a boyfriend, but she soon realized they were from Goodspeed. It also reportedly turned out that Goodspeed's real name was Sandra and that she'd legally changed it to Paula. Police also reportedly knew of Goodspeed and believed that she may have been stalking Abdul. However, a relative told people that they didn't believe she was infatuated with Abdul or that she'd killed herself. Jessica Sierra made it to the top 10 of season four of American Idol until she was eliminated following her rendition of Leanne Rimes' song On the Side of Angels. But a different, darker side of the aspiring singer was revealed after she was arrested twice in 2007 in Tampa, Florida. As reported by People magazine, Sierra's first arrest happened in April when she was charged with domestic battery and was found in possession of cocaine. Less than two weeks after she pleaded no contest, she was arrested again in December with multiple charges that reportedly included disorderly intoxication, resisting arrest, felony battery, and possession of cocaine. According to TMZ, the police officer who arrested Sierra detailed in a report, her behavior was very erratic, being that she would be disorderly and argumentative at one moment and then apologetic the next. Sierra also reportedly offered sexual favors to the officers. Before her sentencing for her first arrest, she was filming VH1's Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. After her second arrest, she was sentenced to one year in rehab and went back to Dr. Drew's rehab facility in Pasadena, California. She was also sentenced to three years of probation. As of a 2010 interview with Radar, Sierra was two years sober. She told the outlet, It feels amazing to be sober. I mean, we did the VH1 Celebrity Rehab thing, and after that, my life just got so much better. Jason Castro was a fan favorite on season seven of American Idol, who brought something new and refreshing to the show with his folk pop sound. During his run on the show, he performed memorable renditions of songs like Over the Rainbow and Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah. He ultimately finished fourth that year. 
with David Cook famously winning the season. Even though he didn't win Idol, Castro ended up signing with Atlantic Records in 2009, and he released his self-titled debut album the following year. In 2013, he released his third album, Only a Mountain, which showed a different side of Castro, as he used his music to open up about his own personal struggles. Then, in 2016, he continued to be vulnerable when he revealed that he'd struggled with an addiction to pornography. In a video released on the I Am Second YouTube channel that year, Castro admitted, Having a secret just eats at you, like, so much, you know, and you feel like a liar the whole time you're around. Castro also revealed that his addiction almost cost him his relationship with his then fiance Mandy Mayhall. But after admitting to having an addiction and attending a support group at a church, he began to feel that he was recovering. He also admitted, I thought this thing was too dirty, too dark to share with anybody. But once I trusted God, we started the road of living a godly life. Castro and Mayhall tied the knot in January 2010 and have since welcomed five children together.